Hi, now we continue on the second learning outcomes. Describe the structure of a flower. Explain the development of gametophytes in plants. Explain and differentiate the types of pollination. And explain the process of double fertilization. For sexual reproduction in plants, most plants are capable of asexual reproduction but can also reproduce sexually. Okay, so what is sexual reproduction? The production of new individuals or offspring by the fusion of eggs and sperm. So this involves fertilization between the male and female gamete and they will produce a zygote. So in sexual reproduction, the offsprings are genetically different from the parent, which are very uh, different from the asexual. So now we're going to seed producing plants. Meaning this plant, they have seed to undergo the sexual production. There are two types, the angiosperm, also known as flowering plant, and the gymnosperm. So this is the gymnosperm, where the seed is naked or unenclosed. But for angiosperm, the seed is inside the ovule, enclosed in a sac. Okay, so that is the difference between the angiosperm and gymnosperm. Both are seed-producing plant. But the location of the seed are different. Okay, now we go into angiosperm, also called flowering plants. They have seed that are enclosed within the ovary. So later, this seed, sorry, so this uh, ovary later will form a fruit. Okay, so this seed will grow into new plants. So angiosperm, they need a widespread, okay, to spread their seed. Normally, animals. The vast majority of plants in the world are angiosperm. Okay, besides reproduce sexually through the reproductive organ of the flower, angiosperm can also reproduce asexually. So this angiosperm can produce both asexual and sexual. Okay, now we go into gymnosperm. For gymnosperm, they produce no flowers, no fruits, okay, but they have naked seed or unenclosed seed on the surface of their scales or leaf. The gymnosperm are often found in cones. So this is the cone. Okay, inside the cone, okay, there is seed. Okay, this plant produces reproductive cones that contain the seed that eventually will grow into new trees themselves. So since they have no flowers, okay, which uh, act as the attractive part this gymnosperm they rely on wind for the pollination example the pine tree cedar tree spruce okay they are all gymnosperm okay so these are the example of gymnosperm pollination enables gamete to come together within a flower in angiosperm example the dominant sporophyte okay sporophyte means the organ that produce spores or the organ that produce the uh, embryo okay the dominant sporophyte okay will produce the spores that develop within flowers into male gametophyte or also known as pollen grain okay uh, we call pollen grain refer to the male for female gametophyte we call embryo sac okay so this is an just overview of angiosperm reproduction. So this is the flower, okay, the receptacle, the petal, okay, the filament and anther. So the filament and anther considered as stamen, okay, and the stigma still ovary considered as carpal. Okay, that is the female part. The stamen is the male part. Okay, look to the color, the arrow color, blue color represent haploid. Okay, mean the uh, genetic is N and the diploid to N. Okay, haploid mean half of the genetic. Normally, the gametes have haploid gamete. Uh, diploid is the uh, complete organism. Okay, so this is from the flower or the, or, or the reproductive part. Okay, they will produce the microsporangium. And inside the microsporangium, there is microsporocyte. So this is inside the anther, okay? The microsporophyte is in the form of 2N. Okay, in order to produce gamete, they must undergo meiosis because meiosis, they will half, okay, the number of the uh, 
the number of the genetic or the DNA of the organism. So from this meiosis, they produce microspore. Okay, microspore. And later, this microspore will develop by mitosis process until they form a fertilization. Okay, so later we will go in deep in this process. Okay, so this is the anther and the filament. Okay, once the microspore uh, fertilize into the egg okay, of the uh, female or the couple system, and then they will form an embryo. Okay, so this is just an overview. Later, I will explain in detail the process uh, of double fertilization. Okay. Okay, so we go into flower structure. Okay, you must know the part in the flower because flower is the reproductive shoots of the angiosperm sporophyte. Okay, there are composed of four flower organs: the sepal. Okay, so this is the sepal. And the petals, the petals normally the coloring one, okay, the part which is colored, and the stamen, stamen is the male part which consists of anther and filament, and the couple which is the female part, this which consists of stigma, steel, and ovary. Many variations in floral structures, okay, have evolved during hundred for forty million years of angiosperm history, okay. So flowers have many types of a uh, floral structure. Sometimes they have uh, three floral structure and then uh, four okay so symmetry ovary location and floral distribution so this is about the structure of the floral some have bilateral symmetry okay this bilateral means they have two parts of the uh, floral they have some uh, having superior ovary semi inferior ovary inferior ovary okay and radial symmetry so these are the uh, type of the floral structure in angiosperm okay reproductive variation okay for example maize a monoecious species okay and dioecious we have sagittaria latifolia common arrowhead and flower terminology okay we have some terms uh, complete flower means the flower having sepal, petal, stamen, and pistil. For incomplete flower, this flower lacking one or more of this part. Okay, uh, so uh, perfect and imperfect flower. For perfect flower, they have both stamen and pistil. The sepal and petals may or may not be present. Imperfect is unisexual flowers. Uh, so in that flowers, for imperfect flowers, either they have stamen or pistil. But not both. Okay, uh, they have either one of the reproductive, uh, either male or female part. Okay, for monoecious and dioecious. Okay, monoecious referring to bisexual, meaning the stamen and pistil. Okay, stamen is the female part. Okay, the couple. Okay, the stamen and pistil in separate flowers, but born on the same individual. Okay, still on the same plant, but separate flowers. For dioecious is unisexual. The stamen, uh, the stamen and the pistil flowers on different individuals, meaning this is one plant, this is another plant. Okay, so unisexual. For monoecious, this still is one plant but different uh, flowers. Okay, for synoecious and polygamous, synoecious is a plant with all flowers perfect. Polygamous, plant with mixture of perfect and imperfect flowers. So. For perfect and imperfect, you refer to this point. Sorry, this point. Okay, perfect and imperfect flowers. All right. Okay, now we go into sexual reproduction involves two fundamental process, which are meiosis. Okay, where from the diploid, they will form haplogamete and then fertilization so meiosis is the process of rearrangement of genes it's a reductional division okay they want to reduce the number of dna where the chromosome are reduced the haploid set okay so what is fertilization the process of fusion of the haploid gametes okay remember the gametes must be in haploid to form a diploid zygote the plants can fertilize by pollination 
Most of the plants will undergo alternation of generation with two phases, gametophyte and sporophyte phase. Okay, alternation of generation means from haploid they will go into diploid. From diploid they may go into haploid. So the alternate, okay. Uh, so from the gametophyte means from the gamete phase, okay, from the end. Okay, sporophyte means from the zygote or the uh, complete the complete organism, new organism. So this is the sporophyte phase. So for gametophyte phase is the haploid multicellular stage in the life cycle. The gametophyte develop from a haploid spore. So there are two types of gamete, the male gametophyte, which produce sperm and the female gametophyte, which produce the egg. The male and female gametes will fuse Okay, to form diploid zygote, the zygote will develop into multicellular sporophyte by mitosis. Once the zygote form, they will grow. Okay, they will increase in size by the process of meiosis. Eh, sorry, mitosis. Okay, sporophyte phase is the multicellular diploid stage. The sporophyte will develop from uh, the zygote. Hence, each sporophyte has double set of chromosome. Okay. In angiosperm and gymnosperm, the sporophyte phase is more notable than the gametophyte stage. Meaning here, we we can see clearly, okay, or the the structure of the sporophyte is more significant, okay, in angiosperm and gymnosperm compared to gametophyte stage. The sporophyte will divide by meiosis to produce the gamete or the haploid spores the spores will develop into gametophyte and then the spore and gametophyte are haploid okay because they are already undergo the meiosis remember if anything that undergo the meiosis the genetic will become half okay but for mitosis the genetic will replicate okay the same number mitotic Okay, uh, now we go into gametophyte development and pollination in angiosperm. Pollination is the transfer of pollen from an anther to the stigma. Okay, so remember the structure of the anther. Okay, so this is the anther, this is the filament and the stigma. Okay, well, okay there is the stigma. So the pollen from the anther will transfer or stick into the stigma. If pollination is successful, a pollen grain produces a structure called a pollen tube. Once it attached to the stigma, it will form the pollen tube. Okay, just to reach the egg in the middle of the female part. Okay, so this pollen tube which grow down into the ovary and discharge the sperm near the embryo sac. So once the pollen tube form, so this sperm from the pollen will pollinate the uh, eggs inside the ovary okay so this is there are cross pollination pollen from stamen stick to a bee as it visit a flower to collect food and then the bee carry the pollen the bee travel to another plant of the same type and the pollen on on the bee stick on the pistil of a flower on the other plant so this is called as cross pollination where one uh, pollen from one flower they transfer to another flower okay by the carrier 